Yeah, no, David, I mean, you, you were on the, the Dylan White undercard. How was it to yeah. be a part of an event that was that big? And good. Good feeling. I mean, nobody's there for me, but it's still a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Johnny Nick, a few fans yeah. of Fury. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. He's like, you know what? You know, I'm in Shoreham this morning. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it was a good feeling. You know, just the fact you get to do the ring walk, yeah. you get to be in the changing rooms. Uh, my changing room was like two doors down from Tyson's. Ended up going back to Tyson's changing room, just watching him do his little warm ups. So I'm watching him after the fight. Um, it's just good. And at the end of the day, it's all just memories, isn't it? So, mm. you know, these are things I can remember. And when I get to that sort of stage, I've been there before. So it's like, I remember how he did it. I remember how they did it, you know. Um, so I just, I just start taking things from each person and I just add it to my own sort of arsenal. No doubt. Now, in your interview post-fight, it was, you know I mean? You got the goosebumps going. It was, it was special. <laughs> you, you, you were very, very, like, I guess just straightforward in your plans. I mean, I've had my turn learning fights. I wanted to push, I wanted to fight for some titles quite a while ago. I couldn't seem to do it. Um, 2023 will happen, God willing. And uh, I mean, the British public is going to have to see a lot more of me. There is a British title fight coming up at the end of the month. Nathan Gorman, Fabio Yardley. Could that be one you've got your eye on, the winner? Yeah, they're both light work. I'll take it with ease. What's next for you? Because I know there's uh, Nathan Gorman, Fabio Wardley are fighting. Are these, are these the kind of people when you're on your radar. And if you've got something to say, find the camera and say it down the lens because <laughs> we want to hear it. No, you know, um, they're both good fighters. Um, I'm one of the fighters. I perform better when the fighters, when the fighters better or when they come yeah. to fight. You know, um, all of these tuck up fighters and whatnot, it's all, it's boring. It's like, give me something back. You know, um, I need feedback. I want to start getting into real sort of dust ups. Dave, what about, you haven't been past six rounds yet, yeah. have you? So, if a fight was to come up, say, for the British title for a 12-rounder, would you jump at it? 110%. If somebody pulls and out... be confident? 110%. If somebody pulls out the fight, and I'm not even saying it just to say it, I'm just saying it because... You see, one thing about me, I, I, I'm real. A lot of fighters say, oh, I'll fight, there. I'll do this, I'll do that. I'm real. You can't go and put me in with someone like Wilder that right now. But even they told me, do you want to fight? I'll say, yeah. And I'll just go for it straight away. But the people that I'm calling out, I'm just, I'll punch them up. I'm just what it is. Yeah, I, I don't even believe that. I think I'd, I'd give it to them. You know, um, I've seen what they do. I've seen what I do. And one thing about me is my, I've got bottle. My, my bottle won't leave me. It's as simple as that. When the going gets tough and, and I have to have it out, I'll have it out. It's as simple as that. I'll go out on my shield. Um, that's facts and figures. <laughs> no doubt. Point blank no. period. Listen, I believe it. I yeah, believe man, it. I'm, I'm sat over here and I believe it. Yeah, I'm not, you know, uh, I don't want to say it when I come across as arrogant, because I'm not arrogant, I'm just confident. And, you know, I believe in myself. Um, but these are the sort of fighters that I think I can do it with, you know. Um, and as time goes on, I think I've got to start proving it, you know, because um, like I say, it's one thing doing it in the gym, is another thing doing it on fight night. Because there's times when I watch myself on fight night and I'm like, nah, I've done way better than that in the gym. So yeah. would you like a British title shot next year? Definitely, most definitely. I think a British title shot and then I'll start climbing up the rankings and um, start fighting the more experienced fighters, you know. Um, do, you know do you know what, Dubois probably the person that we haven't spoken about as much on this, on this show. And we saw kind of what Joe done to Joe Joyce's career when he, when he, when he beat Dubois. Is that something, I mean, Soonish, you know. I mean, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to get. I, listen, I'm not trying to ruffle their feathers, but if that fight came about, that's that's a great I'm British dust it. up. I mean, I know Dubois from the amateurs. We used to train with each other in the amateurs. You know, we both boxed for Dal Youth. Um, but it's funny you say that because I went to a boxing show a few weeks ago and I saw Dubois with his family there. And uh, you can't I see stick his, on a man when he's with I his see family. his dad, and his dad <laughs> said to me, "Dave, what's going on? Like you're looking good in the gym, and you've been looking good." And I was like, "Yeah." And he goes, "We asked Frank Warren for the fight to fight you." I went, "Yeah." He said, yeah, I said, well, that's easy money. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, but we all started laughing and whatnot. But um, no, Dubois is good friends, man. We, we're good friends. But at the end of the day, when man, we spar, it's, yeah, it's bad intentions. You know, I've been in the ring with him many times as well. So Dubois fighting on the, the Fury Chisora undercard on the third. Where's, where, where, what do you see next for, for his career? Can, can he take that step up to, to the next level? Because he's going to have to come back and fight a Joyce. He's going to have to come back yeah. and fight some of these top guys. No, I think he can. I think he's a very good fighter. He's a really, really yeah, good job. Um, solid job. Uh, his last few fights, he's, he's looked re pretty impressive, really good, yeah. in fairness. Um, it's, it's a bit of a waiting game for guys in Dubois' situation because the, the real top, top guys, they're all trying to sort that situation out. Fury and Usyk and AJ and Wilder. And Dubois, it's still... 
I think he would probably like to get there quicker than he's yeah. going to get there just because of the waiting around he's going to have to do. But um, I think he's doing he's doing the right things. And, and from the Joyce defeat, in my opinion, he's... He's, he's, he's taken and learnt lessons from Yeah, and he's improved. He has yeah. improved. No I, doubt. I remember him up at G, GB again when, when there was Joe Joyce there, there was Daniel Dubois, there was AJ. And they all had something about them. You know, they, they brought something different to the table. But for him, we've mentioned that his jab was just absolutely terrific. He had the best jab up at GB. Um, with, with, with Joe Joyce, it was obviously his engine. But Daniel... Uh, so I, was, I used to say to him, "Listen, I said you'll just win. With, you can win fights just with your left hand, because it's and it's not just it's not a soft jab. It's a real sickening punch, hard, straight, accurate. It's a great jab. But I think with him being he's, he's the WBA regular champion now, Carl isn't he? I think um, I think he can use that now, and he, he's got to get more and more experience. I still think he's behind that leading pack." But he's on the verge, and obviously David's just behind him, like Carl said. But he can use that title now to have maybe two or three defences, get established, and then take the step up again, I think. Incredible. Now, 